I kind of felt like it was a bit of a win-win for everyone. Like, I mean, Aubameyang is going to get his full whack of wages, it seems, for the rest of the season with Arsenal topping them up. Uh, then next year, Barcelona are going to pay him an absolute fortune, um, it seems. Like, basically the way Barcelona have been doing it recently, which they've Spreading been getting out. everyone to reduce their <laughs> wages. And then they're like, here are some big, you know, loyalty payments or here's a big kind of... Long term con- contract. Exactly. Yeah, so it's like, they're going to yeah. end up paying players five years after they've left but if it tides them over until they can get things working again I guess they think it's worthwhile so works from his point of view he's going to a bigger club they're not in a great situation right now but he's going to play through the middle surrounded by interesting players I think he'll actually be fine in fact I think he'll do quite well I agree as a goal scorer this season he's been kind of okay in fact he's better than he was last year Hmm. Um, I think that's kind of all right for him Arsenal they're going to have they've paid him a whack of money to leave. They're paying him some wages, but then they're probably going to save. Rumors are between twenty and thirty million over the life of that contract up until the end of next season. So it works out for them. Of course, you know how it works with them making top four this season is a different question. But getting him off the books, <clears throat> making up for that terrible contract, fine. And Barcelona have got a proven goal scorer. You know he he's not a bad player. He has problems as a player, but I think when you put him in a team surrounded by some of the talent they've got, I think those problems start to go away a little bit. Mm. You know, Busquets has been absolutely sensational this season. The young, we hope, will come back into form. They've got hard-working midfielders behind them in Pedri and Gabi. Um, they've got a really interesting complement of wide attackers now. You know, we don't really know what's happening with Depay, but um, but Ferran Torres and Ansu Fati. You know, there, there's. I think that I can absolutely see mm. how he fits into this team how he scores a bunch of goals. He doesn't have to do that much work. He goes to a big and glamorous club. I don't really see who's the loser here. Mm. 